guys welcome back to my channel this is Raghav here and I'm bringing in a new episode called FCPX tips and tricks after this intro hope you guys enjoyed that particular intro and I hope you guys will enjoy these new episodes as well. This is all about the Final Cut Pro editing. I've been a Final Cut Pro user myself and I've been learning this Final Cut Pro editing from almost two years now. From the time I started my YouTubing career, I started off with iMovie editing and then moved ahead and purchased uh, Final Cut Pro and started using Final Cut Pro editing. And uh, I've been learning a lot and still learning. But uh, what I thought is to share something uh, which I have learned all these two years and uh, maybe it would be very useful for you guys so without further ado let's jump into the first episode of fcpx tips and tricks and for today we are going to look into the cinematic titles you might have seen that amazing cinematic opening title effects the text effects there are a lot of text effects which you can use and uh, these texts are very useful to tell the story to convey the message which you want to in a video and uh, to make it more appealing to make it uh, to make the video more cinematic today let's see where can we download this amazing fonts and integrate it into our editing and then go ahead and make it more cinematic by adding effects and uh, see how to make it one bundle of cinematic footage so let's hop into final cut pro editor and see how to make it all right so first let's go ahead and down, uh, download the font and to do that let's go to dafont.com and this is the page this is the web page where you can download a lot of fonts there are a lot of fonts available here my footage is such that it's kind of a cinematic one it's a drone footage i'm taking it slow and it's foggy and i want to give that cinematic texture so let's go and uh, download some of them and uh, yeah let's go and download some brush effect which might give some sort of a cinematic stuff understand well about your footage now if you're adding this sort of a font for the footage which i just showed you it won't look good because that looks like a horror movie uh, i'm not creating a horror movie here and of course if you're creating a horror movie then yeah you can go ahead and use that so let's see which is good so brushwell is good i'm going to download that and uh, i've already downloaded it so i've already installed that as well and let's also see any other uh, effects which we can find out let's scroll let's scroll let's scroll let's scroll let's navigate all right levy brush brush king i guess brush king looks good uh brush king looks good looks good looks good okay all right let's take brush king as well so we got Brushwell, we got Brush King. Sometimes you'll have a preview uh, when you download. Uh, you can you'll have a preview about how it exactly looks. So just gotta install it. It will just validate the fonts and boom, it's installed. Let's close it up, let's close it up. And then the next thing is to open up the Final Cut Pro project and already have a footage. So I want to add a text here. I want to add uh, the cinematic text and for that, I'll go to title and generators and uh, in the search I'll just type in basic title and uh, as you can see there is a title let me drag and drop it and if you see here the title is already there okay so this looks good so we can see by default there is a font already so we downloaded brushwell so let's take brushwell into consideration and uh, let's increase the font size looks good and let's add a title maybe i'll say cinematic blog and uh, it looks congested so let's give some tracking to it okay make sure that it's readable so that uh, people can understand what exactly you're trying to convey and once you're given the tracking it looks like uh, it's a little bit more heavier on the size now it's good it looks good now and uh, let's go ahead and try playing it and see how it looks hmm, boom it looks good but uh, still there's something missing we want something more something cinematic and to do that 
let's add some effects because the font which you just saw or the title which you just saw is coming up randomly it's just popping up and we don't want that to be happening because it's cinematic text which we want to add in here and to do that we have to add some sort of an effects so let's go ahead and add some uh, transitions to the title i've already selected the dissolve transition so to add it just click on the title and uh, double click on the transition it will be added boom once it is done let's wait for the rendering to be completed so let's play it okay looks good looks good but still this little bit of hiccups while opening up and closing up right so you know what that is because we got to increase the level of transition so the timing has to be proper there so play around play around you will become perfect at the end okay all right so there you go it, it's already looking good so let's wait for the ending to happen this looks good this looks amazing isn't it it's beautiful okay so now we got it now but still there's something missing so so let's give something some more vibe and aura to it by adding some music some effects and to do that let me go ahead and uh, pull up some sound effects maybe yep this looks good for me right now good now let's add some music to it uh, i have already downloaded a music from music bed so let me go and decrease the uh, sound as well here Ready for the magic? Let's check it out. You're a sunset over velvet hills. Wasn't that cinematic? Wasn't that beautiful? Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this particular video and if it was informative, useful for you guys, please go and share it with your friends and family. And thank you very much for watching and talk to you guys on the next one. Peace.